show you how to take these any galvanized steel that you buy from a hardware store, anything like that, you know that you shouldn't weld on this. Um, it actually creates toxic fumes when you do weld on it, but I use this stuff constantly, especially like these little metal spacers, things like this. Um, I, I usually strip the zinc off of here before I actually weld on it so that you don't end up sick. All I use is regular distilled vinegar you get from the grocery store. Um, the process is pretty simple. I usually take a cup, throw the stuff down in there, make sure this, the, the you know, spacers, bolts, whatever you're using are, are covered. Uh, let them set overnight. I usually check them in the morning. And then usually that evening or the next morning, they're pretty much, it's raw steel at that point. The vinegar's eaten away all the zinc coating. So um, it takes a couple days to do this. You can do it from muriatic acid. And there's some other things, but this is just a little less toxic. And uh, this, I really don't want my little dude coming out here in the garage and for some reason it's tipping over a cup of muriatic acid. So vinegar seems to be the best thing for me. Uh, let me show you now how I do it. As you can see here, I'm about about 12 hours and I'm soaking in the vinegar. So I'm gonna let them go in the solution a little longer. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a little bit. So as you can see, we're about a day and a half in and they're pretty much completely black. So we're ready to pull them out of the vinegar solution and wash them in water, brush them with a uh, plastic bristle brush. We'll get them clean and they're ready to weld. So now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pull the spacers out of this vinegar solution, put them in water. I use the use needle nose pliers just because I don't want the smell all over my hands. You're going to need a plastic bristle brush for each one of these. And what I do is, you can see immediately, as soon as I dip them in the water, they turn from black to like a raw metal color just to make sure all the zinc is off. Bristle brush them, which is going to make them look clean. Water, wipe it off with a shop rag, and it's completely stripped, it's raw steel. That's the other one. I was actually using two small spacers I'm using as turn signal uh, light holders on the fender struts in the Sportster. Um, here you see basically I've used magnets to hold it all in place. It's raw steel at that point. I can weld them right onto the fender struts um, and then I'll pull the struts off and then finish weld the whole thing since they're just tacked on. So pretty simple. Um, like I said, it takes a couple days. It's a little it's a little longer process than using muriatic acid, but to me, it's a little safer, and uh, I'd rather just use that, take a couple days, plan ahead, make sure I have enough time to do it the right way. That being said, if you guys have any other questions, I have some other quick tips I'm going to try to film here in the next couple weeks. Um, we also have a bike build uh, series coming up. We're taking another metric motorcycle, and we're going. We have uh, some stuff we're going to do: custom fenders, um, air rides, stuff like that. So. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out our Instagram. Um, if you've ever used this method, um, tell me your results down in the comments section and make sure you subscribe to our page. Have a good one.